In this video, we'll learn what is a singleton class, how it works and how to create a singleton class in Flutter Dart. But first of all, let's learn what is a class and how does it work. A normal class is a blueprint for creating objects or instances in object-oriented programming. It can have multiple instances, and each instance of the class is independent, meaning it can have its own properties and state. When you create an object from a normal class, you are essentially creating a new instance of that class, and changes to one instance do not affect others. On the other hand, a singleton class is a design pattern that ensures a class has only one instance throughout the lifetime of an application. It restricts the instantiation of a class to a single object and provides a global point of access to that instance. The purpose of a singleton class is to manage a single point of control, such as maintaining a global state, configuration settings, or a shared resource, to prevent multiple, redundant instances from being created. Singleton classes are particularly useful in scenarios where you want a single, consistent instance to be accessed by various parts of your application. Now, let's see what type of problem do we have to face without the singleton class. Let's create a Flutter project. I'm creating an empty Flutter project. Now create a separate home page. Now create a class named Numbers List. Write constructor of this class and create a list of integers and give it a name Numbers. Now create an object of that class in the home page and call it numbers list. Now create an list of integers and give it a list of integers. Now let's create some buttons to implement the functionality.
Now create a function to add the list of integers which we created, into the numbers list which we created in the class. Status is just to check either list is added or not. Now create a new page named result page to show the numbers from the list. As you can see that numbers are being added on the home page. However, we can't see any numbers on the result page. Problem is that both pages have two different instances of the class and actions done to one does not affect the other. To solve this problem, we use singleton classes. How to create a singleton class in Dart? It's very easy to turn a normal class to a singleton class. Just write these lines. I'll explain these lines in just a moment but first let's see what magic these can do. Now, it's working perfectly as we wanted. Now, let's understand these lines of code. Here, a static and final variable underscore instance is declared within the numbers list class. This variable is marked as final, which means it cannot be changed once it's assigned. This is used to store the singleton instance of the numbers list class. The underscore instance variable is initialized with the result of calling a private constructor internal of the same class. This constructor is used to create the unique instance of the numbers list. This line defines a factory constructor for the numbers list class. A factory constructor is used to control the creation of objects and is typically used for implementing the singleton pattern. In this case, the factory constructor returns the existing instance of the class. This ensures that only one instance of numbers list is ever created and reused. This line defines a private constructor called internal. Private constructors have names starting with an underscore and can only be called from within the class. This constructor is used to create an instance of the numbers list. However, it's not meant to be called directly by external code, which is why it's marked as private. And this is just a simple list of integers. 
Thanks for watching. If you have any queries, just ask in the comments.